Hi, and welcome back to Tier 10 to Prem. Today is our transfer special, but I don't really think it's going to be much of a special, to be honest. The transfer budget at the end of the season was like £50,000, I think. The budget is just going to be nothing. I really am shocked that we're going to buy... If we buy anybody, we've sold someone. Simple as that. But please do. Let's get on board and see what's going on. Because it's going to be an interesting one. We need some more players. That is for sure. So as it happens, we've um, we've had to dish out twenty two medals for our amazing league winning team, and right at the top there, look, Sir Matthew Roberts. Yeah, so uh, lots of medals, twenty two players who actually managed to get at least five games or more. Uh, it's just, I was, I, I'm still, I'm, I'm pinching myself. I'm still buzzing. I just can't believe what's happened. But we've done it. We are Premier League winners. So that is great news. Bonuses, breaks and all that sort of thing coming up. Schedules, record high. 84 points. I think we're going to have to do more than that next year. Yestin Powell has made it into the Dream 11. Best overall 11. Unreal. Just, again, an, another massive thing. Yestin Powell in there now. I don't think we'd have anybody break into this, but we finally have. And actually on the bench as well, look. Um, where did I see it? McLeod's there. Nick Edwards. Enzo on the bench as well. Toby Pickering will Toby Pickering be pushed out where are they now I think they're all retired pretty much Harry Jones is still at Blackpool Yo-Yo Mahadi Ilfracum still Paul Allen Rafe Rovers Nick Edwards is at Austin FC he's so out in the States playing and obviously Kieran Toland is uh, our under 23s manager Enzo, McLeod, Toby Young, still, still there. So, from the best 11, that's pretty good, really. That is pretty good. And now for our season review. Right. New arrivals. Yes. And I thought it might be Julian Fink. Julian Fink. Finky? I, I, I'm not going to change it now. A 7.44, 12 assists, 40 goals in 47 starts. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. A B. Happy with those stats coming back from him. Uh, Adrian Rodriguez, a C. A 7.18, a C. Come on, board. Timothy. <laughs> Here we go. C. 30. So, think £69 million. Rodriguez, 12.5. Timothy, 13.25. All above a 7. C. Box Hill. Did he actually play one game off the bench? A B plus. Yestin Powell. He's been with us forever. 50 games, 15 assists, 5 goals, a 7.04. That must be his best season, I should think. It is. Well, actually, it says a 7 there, but we'll... Uh, two years on the trot. Sort of happy with that. Right. Horton Gore, what's he going to be, a D? 
a C plus for Horton Gore. <laughs> 80 million pounds. Marcel, Marcelo Leighton, ready? <laughs> I tell you what, our board. I, it's ridiculous. Janotta only had 7.4, 7, uh, 6.74. A plus. <laughs> oh, board. Board, you are just having a blooming laugh. Transfers out. Who was the best one? Williams? Surely Luca. A C plus. It's just pointless. <laughs> this is just pointless. The board. A plus. Absolutely delighted with winning the Premier League. Top our finish. We finished first. Julian Fink, 33 goals in the league. A B plus for the semi final loss to Liverpool. Uh, C plus again. Wow, well, you know, FA Cup. And a, a C. They won't be judging us on that. Moments to remember. I wonder what it could be. Biggest win. 5 0 victory. Look at that. Timote, Alex Raphael and Fink. Match to remember. Benfica in the Champions League. Gibson and Irwin. Irwin, somebody we might have to move on this season, I would say. We will see. And that man again, Julian Fink, with goal of the season. Let's go and have a look, shall we? Right, here she loads up. Horton Gore, think in his own half, just tearing at them. <laughs> yeah, what a strike that was! Right, finances, finances. So we are worldwide club now. No new sponsorship deals. Really, revenue. More than doubled from last season. Broadcast down a little bit. Corporate, more than doubled. Pfft, my word. Prize money up quite a bit as well. Commercial, nearly doubled. £10.7 million pounds on merchandise. Think. Wow, look at this. Over half a million shirts sold. Fink, Horton Gore, Alex Raphael, Gibson and Timothy. Crazy, crazy times. How we lined up. Now, that's how they wanted us to line up. It was always Fink and Gibson the other way around. But you know, can't have everything. Sainsbury, Montes, Edwards, Horton Gore, Rodriguez, yeah, Timothy, Powell. We'll go with that. The accolades. We only got him one manager of the year. Finally! <laughs> After all this time. 60 years old now I am. I've got a bit of grey hair, but that's, that's taking the mick a bit, isn't it? I don't know. Fans player of the season. I think the elite striker that he is now. 21-year-old elite striker. Young player of the year. So we can still win that for a couple of seasons. Sign of the season. Goal of the season. Top goal scorer. Yestin Powell breaks up that monopoly of Think. With most assists for 15. Most man of the matches, 15 for Think. Most highest average rating, Think. Giannotta, most pass completion. Competition awards. English Footballer of the Year, Think. English Players Player of the Year, Fink. Top Premier League goal scorer, Fink. English Players Young Player of the Year, Fink. It's a clean sweep. <laughs> oh my word, he's won the lot. Record breakers, Janotas. 
Oh, bad boys, bad boys. 19 yellow cards. Yes, Dim Powell, 105 million. Luca, 60 million pound received. History in the making. The hard work has paid off. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I think this season, yeah, we'll go off to Spain, I think. Have a nice bit of a break. Now, it does say up there. Actually, let's just confirm that a second. Um, where was I? So Julian Fink claimed the footballers of the year, young player of the year. He beat Haaland for top goal scorer by two goals. And myself as well. A win ratio of 65%. And in the team of the year... Montes, Alex Raphael, Fink, Gibson, and Timothy. So they've got Gibson down as a midfielder, which is very interesting. Um, oh, thank you, Marcus Cassidy, praising myself for the uh, Manager of the Year award. Now, I was saying, we need the budgets in. We've got £60,000 at the moment. So we seriously need something to happen there. And hopefully, we'll find out pretty soon. Let's go and do some transfers. Or let's go sell some players, should I say. Well, it's just put, I've literally just clipped on three hours. And the board have announced plans to enlarge the stadium by another 2,000 seats. Estimated cost of £3.9 million. Work will be completed in three months. Puts the capacity up to 26,664. <sighs> Excellent. And also, our youth rating. Our youth rating has gone up from a Category 2 to a Category 1. This year's youth intake should be... <laughs> The biggest one we've ever, ever had. It's going to take 49.7, uh, 48.78 million pounds to run each year. Wow. And here we are on the 3rd of June now, and we've just got the European Champions is it champ it's not just Champions League. It's cha I suppose it is Champions League. Uh, best goal. And it's Julian Fink. And I wonder, is this the same goal that we had uh, in the Champions League? Armchair expert, look. So this is a goal for Liverpool. Let me speed this up a little bit. Mm. Yeah, you can see why that was third. And now it's the Borussia Dortmund lad. Was it the... The ball comes over. Oof. That's a nice goal as well, isn't it? It's not bad. Right. And now... For Fink's goal against Borussia Dortmund. Is this the one he picks up in his own half? It is. It is. We've seen it once already, but it's worth seeing again. Ho, 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 ho. What a goal. Julian Fink. So here we are on the 9th of June, and we've got two signings in. Simon... Simon, I know it's going to be Simon, but we're going to call him Simon. It's easier. And obviously, Toby Youngs has come in permanently for £15 million. A minus. Very pleased to get him on a permanent basis. And obviously, Simon, that we, Simon, that we've seen already. Just awesome. I really cannot wait to get this lad down the right wing. I think probably complete wing back on support, I would say. 
probably have them even up on each side then this one really is going to be a big big player for us and he's on international duty currently and Cording has gone out to West Brom for £15 million and McLeod another one £15 million so we're starting to slowly get some people off the way off the wage bill and all that sort of thing but what we need to do is get rid of some of these fringe players we've got so many of them you know there's, there's quite a few there that we really need to see if we can shift on Eltinio maybe I know he's captain even Sir Matthew Roberts he's still unhappy we might have to try and move him on and I really, really do want to get a central defender. We need to upgrade on on Edwards. He's now down as a a two and a half star player, forty three million pounds. If we can get someone to bite for that, I'll more than happily move him on. So we've got our first signing of the season, Johnny Beatty. He comes in from Manchester United for three million pounds. A 16-year-old left winger. Now, they hadn't tied him up to a contract. I say three million pounds. It was uh, three million pounds on the compensation deal, but we're more than happy with that. Three million quid. Plenty of potential. Only a one and a half star current ability, five star potential player. So nine stone four, five foot seven. He definitely needs to bulk up a little bit, but he's definitely somebody we want to use for the future. Well, I did say it was going to be a quiet summer, but I wasn't quite expecting this. We've had a lot of people go out. Chris Sainsbury, Dino Saljevic, so Sainsbury £46 million, Saljevic £24.5 million, Cherokar has gone out on loan to Hydric, Justin Wally gone out to Wigan, bit of team building for the lad, 17 years old, he's gone out on loan to Wigan, Sir Matthew Roberts, has gone on loan to Hull City. He was so, so fussy and moaning in the end. I said, you can go, you can go. Luca Coleman has gone out on loan to Toronto. Oliveira, the midfield one, has gone on loan to Villarreal. Pedro, goalkeeper, Again, gone back out on loan again this year. He's gone to Coventry. And Irwin. We've managed to get rid of Irwin after all. After all we did with him. He has gone to Valencia for thirty nine million pounds. Which meant we got ninety one million pounds in the bank. Our director of football bought in this lad Michael Gillespie free transfer 23, 23 years old he's already valued at nearly £30 million pounds. he's had quite a few under 21's caps can play both footed and he's just he can play as a striker behind the front one or two right wing also central midfield but he's just a nice option He's not stunningly good, but the old director of football uh, brought him in and I said, well, yeah, go on then, we'll have you. And then we had an offer. We got an offer. Where's he, where's he to? Where's he to? Edwards. £28 million pounds for Edwards, who is currently a two and a half star rated player. And I thought, we got 91 in the bank. 
We've got 28 coming in for Edwards. We need another central defender. Mario Bellmans. I've been looking at this lad for a couple of seasons or more. Five star potential, four star current ability, six foot one. Left footed, also pretty good with his right. He's an elite centre back. <sighs> Plays as a cover defender. Can also be a libero. Not that we're really going to use a libero, but everywhere he plays, he's cover. So Montes does cover. So Montes is going to have to change his role slightly because there's no way we can play with two covering central defenders because Montes at the moment and Leighton are the two that are going to be fighting out to play with this lad. But Mario or Maro Bellman's say you look at his stats he's had some good seasons he was out in Holland moved to Leicester we tried to get him then but missed didn't have enough money but we've got him this time we've got him this time and I am so excited if we look at the team report squad depth now so we've got our four star goalkeeper We've got a five-star right back, a four-and-a-half-star left back. Horton Gore does come into the fold for central defender, but he's not. Bellman is a four-star player there, and he's still got three years of development yet. Janotta, three-and-a-half-stars in there. We've got our two four-stars, three four-star central midfielders. We've also got our three and a half star Yestin Powell there. We've got our five star striker and a four star striker. So as it stands, I am a very, very happy chappy. I cannot see any more business. Now, if this all suddenly jumps up to be a 45 minute video, you know something drastic has gone on. But uh, we have got uh, I think there's a game coming up very soon actually looking at the schedule um, yeah Wembley so we've got the charity shield or community shield or whatever you want to call it on the 5th of the 8th so we'll see where we are when we come back we've, we've been awesome in pre-season <laughs> can't take much for friendlies but we've been awesome and here we are at the 5th of August, ready for the Manchester City Charity Shield game. Luis Chavez has gone out on loan to Sporting for the season. And Elliot Edwards actually went to Leicester City for £30 million. So we bought Bellman's off him and they took Edwards in return for £30 million. So, yes finances that leaves us with 17 million pounds transfer 60 odd million in the bank our project English James our projection is that we'll be 86 87 million pounds in the red so we might have to do some more transfer wheeler dealing Gibson's wanted by Atletico. We have got um, Cicello, who you haven't probably seen yet. Cicello, who's going to be in the squad this season. Um, he is an absolute superstar in the making. 20 years old. He's not even had a cap for Brazil's under 20 or anything. But... He's got so much potential. Again, another five-star player, three-star current ability. He's done a bit of a Toby Pickering. He went out on loan to Atalanta for three seasons. £13 million he cost us. He's now valued at £22 million. So he is somebody who's going to feature in and around, I think, this season. 
Another player that I am absolutely stunned by, and I didn't realise, or unless he's just had an absolute craziness, is Tiano. Six foot five. Did anyone see that? I don't recall him being six foot five. He's an absolute monster. <laughs> um, 18 jumping reach. Needs to work on his head in a bit, 13. But my word, what a beast we've got there. And there was another thing I noticed. Our Brazilian midfielders, Alex Rafael, flair of nine. Timote, 16. Obviously, Altinho, 13. C Cecilio is 16. Tiano, I think it's like nine. No, ten. So not really not really that flary sort of Brazilian superstars that you'd expect. One note of concern. Simon. Fractured his leg out on international duty. <laughs> and some of his ratings have dropped. I just hope he's gonna be alright. He's he's back in a couple of weeks. And fingers crossed. He will be playing as that complete fullback for us. You look at the ratings there, look, he is absolutely made for it. Absolutely, definitely. But I just wonder how much that injury, fractured, fractured lower leg, we'll have to wait and see. But all in all, that there is our transfer window. If you've enjoyed that, please do like, subscribe and get notified. But don't forget, get the comments in down below. What do you guys think to our transfer special? Have we done any good? We've only signed two players. It's, it's an amazing thing. I, I don't think I've ever had a season where we've just not signed anyone. But obviously the other ones were already done for last season, weren't they? You know, Simon, Simon and just a few others but it's what we've got this season so that was our transfer special can we retain the league can we go one better and win the champions league we'll see you in the next one